Hello, everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Ding Ting with Xinhua News Agency. Shanghai has recently reported a record number of COVID-19 infections since the pandemic broke out in 2020. I am now in Lingang Pujiang Park in Minghang District, Shanghai. A batch of high-tech nuclear acid testing equipment and products are produced and put into use here. Behind me is the mobile nuclear acid testing vehicle developed by Shanghai Zhijiang Biotechnology company. Not long ago, the devices of this kind were deployed to join cities fight against the latest resurgence of the COVID-19. So now we will have the general manager of Shanghai Zhijiang Biotechnology Company to give us more details about this vehicle. Hi. 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 Can you give us a self-introduction? Yeah. Uh, for, for me to Huge demand COVID-19 detection. Life River developed the, the blue amber, the automated biosafe compliant nuclear acid vehicle, which provide an integrated solution for sampling, transportation, and detection. Blue amber required only C1 driver license, quick and nimble. It offers on site detection instantaneously. Touchless sampling, which is safe and more comfortable. Sample transport on the fully enclosed negative pressure environment. Sample to, re to result for automated only two technicians on board for the whole process of COVID-19 detection. Uh, yes, and uh, this is a mobile fully automated P2 Plus nucleic acid testing vehicle. So from the outer appearance, it looks really like an RV uh, for that we take for traveling. Um, but as we know, uh, the efficiency of the vehicle is quite amazing. So uh, how efficient is this vehicle? Uh, for Blue Armor, the throughput is 1,800 tubes per day per vehicle. Compact and enable automated decapturing, recapturing, sample dispensing, nuclear acid extraction, PCR setup, PCR amplification, result analysis and reporting. No manual intervention during the whole process of nuclear, nuclear acid detection. Mm -hmm. and if you get onto the vehicle so we can uh, find more details, uh, so how do the works of the collecting and the testing samples go on the, the vehicle? What are the advantages of this nuclear acid testing vehicle? Uh, for the blue armor, it's compact and nimble. Required only C1 driver license. It can on-site detection instantaneously, and it also can use at for board control, rapid detection for emergency or outpatient, screening for disease prevention and control, detection at counter site or in a community. So how many samples is it able to handle every day? Uh, the throughput is 1,800 per vehicle per day. And how many uh, nuclear acid testing vehicles have you produced? Uh, at, at present, Life River has developed six blue armors and three red armors. And uh, uh, what we have witnessed, three of them, they are just uh, samples. They are quite new. So another three vehicles has go to other places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The three other blue armors, they are on work mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. And also three red armors, they are also uh, used outpatient screening now. Mm -hmm. Let's go to our next stop, okay? 
So the best thing, as far as I know, about the blue armor is that it is small and flexible and it can provide instant testing everywhere it stops. It seems we only need two people in a car to finish the sampling and the testing. And this is the main building of Zhejiang Biotechnology Company, right? Yes. Now, uh, let me introduce the checking for automate lab. Mm -hmm. oh, I think this is our uh, second stop. This is our second stop. Hi. Hi. OK, so the engineer here uh, will show us uh, about the self-testing kit. So in addition to the testing vehicles, uh, their company also has uh, developed and produced the COVID-19 antigen self-testing kits. So the engineer will show us how it works. So you open the box and then take out the stuff. Shanghai now launched a new round of massive COVID-19 nuclear acid testing from last week. Among people in the area at high risk of infection to help meet the dynamic zero COVID-19 target at the community level. So as we can see now, the engineer is put the stick into the tube. So let me ask how long it usually takes to let us know the test. So we can know the result in about two or three minutes. And the result is, is effective in about 20 minutes. So now he is dripping. So China now has granted approval for five types of COVID-19 antigen kits made by the local companies. So these kind of at-home COVID-19 test kits are available for order on delivery apps. So it is an effective supplement to nuclear acid testing, but it cannot be a replacement. So for example, if the positive rate detected by nuclear acid testing is 100%, then it will be around 70% if it's an antigen test. So we can see the C and the T on it. So C line is control means the test is effective. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we can see the test is effective. So after finishing the self antigen test, so let's continue our tour in the laboratory, shall we? Uh, this lab is for our device research. So this is a research center? Yes, it's a research center for uh, hardware. Mm -hmm. This AGV mm -hmm. is used for sample transportation. Mm -hmm. So 
How many tubes is there in a plate? This plate is uh, uh, more than 100. More than 100. Yes. Okay. So you can see this is a uh, uh, robot. robot. Mm -hmm. I can can uh, grasp the sample mm -hmm. into the mini lab. Yes. This mini lab, the name is Chinking. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, Chinking. Chinking. Uh, Chinking. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's for it's for intelligent mobile mini lab mm -hmm. molecular for molecular detection. Mm -hmm. So this is a fully automated, right? Yes. Uh, which can complete up to 5,000 tests in 24 hours. This system allow random assess and assembly like loading of samples. Rendering men on duty unnecessary. Chinking works not only for the detection of COVID-19, but also for the mass screening of large population for other passengers. Our nuclear acid test vehicle is a mobile P2 Plus compatible lab, which offers instantaneously an on-site detection. Traditional PCR lab is not mobile. Since the launch, our nuclear acid test vehicle can be developed at multiple sites across Shanghai to support anti-pandemic front line. At this critical moment, the vehicle will help enhance the screening efficiency among key regions, key people, and key industries. Mm -hmm. So according to a senior local government official, there is no need for a citywide lockdown in Shanghai at present. But such kind of the COVID-19 test uh, is uh, launched uh, rounds, rounds and rounds across the city. So I think for this kind of high tech nuclear acid uh, machine, if we this kind of machine uh, put into use, uh, this kind of high tech products will help a lot uh, among the resurgence of the COVID-19 infections in Shanghai. So we can see the robot. The robot is uh, grasping the tube by tube. Yes. Uh, so uh, for the whole day, so uh, how many tubes will it get? Uh, five thousand. Five thousand. Yeah. In twenty-four hours. Yes. So for how long can we get a result? Only two hours, two and two hours and uh, twenty minutes. Oh, okay, it's, it's very fast compared yeah, with the uh, later. Uh, every f every 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you will get Another. next bench. Uh -huh. yeah. You can see uh, the the red uh, red box is a PCR machine. Mm -hmm. They used for COVID-19 testing, oh. uh, and uh, the chinking have six PCR machine, and uh, they run one by one. So this is instantaneously detection. As a national level biomedical development zone with a history of over 10 years in industry, Pujang Park has gathered a large number of high-tech biomedical enterprises. Due to the recent challenging epidemic situation in Shanghai, Anti-pandemic measures suggest many employees to work from home. 
But the local government has mobilized highly skilled workers from all districts of the city to guarantee the production of the testing equipment here. Shanghai has recently reported a record number of the COVID-19 infections since the pandemic broke out in 2020. Starting this week, a greenhouse QR code is not enough to enter office building in Shanghai. More venues are requiring a negative nucleic acid test for entry amid the city's latest COVID-19 resurgence. All local elementary and secondary schools have gone online in accordance to the city's latest requirements for epidemic prevention and control. Although Shanghai is facing a challenging COVID-19 resurgence right now, the concerted efforts such as the local government, the local communities, medics are made to stem new COVID-19 infections. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching.